It's time for business news with Richard Southern and the holiday shopping season just getting into full swing, Richard, but it might not be a merry one for retailers. Yeah, hey Erica, it's tough, right? Because the cost of living has gone like right up this year and now here we are holiday season. You got to buy gifts and big new survey in from PayPal. They talked to thousands of Canadians and what did they find? They found many of us, Erica, are like drastically shrinking our lists this year, 73% of Canadians are going to avoid splurging on unnecessary presents. What they're going to do instead is save up for the perfect one or two gifts for their one or two top, top loved ones. So not everyone's going to make the, the list this year. Uh, potluck get-togethers back on the menu for many. Three in ten hosts are going to ask their, their, their guests coming to holiday parties to bring some food. 36% of Canadians are, are planning to travel, only 36% planning to travel this holiday season. Nearly 7 in 10 say they're too embarrassed to ask for financial help, and that's because they know others are kind of struggling a bit financially too. Having said that, Eric, I have your gift on order, and I can't wait to uh, give it to you, you have next month gift. on City News. I know, we're exchanging gifts. You, you made my list, Richard. You should be proud. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, uh, what are your children do it, doing on social media? This next story is a big one for parents, Richard. Yeah, you might, I mean, who knows what they're doing on there, Erica. Probably all sorts of uh, untoward things, but maybe one of the, the more troublesome things is looking at ads for fast food and for sugary drinks and drink uh, food with a lot of sugar in it. This is a big new survey in here from Heart and Stroke Canada and it finds that unhealthy food brands are increasingly targeting young people on social media right now. The top 40 brands in Canada that sell fast food or products high in sugar, salt and saturated fat were mentioned more than 16 billion times on social media sites last year, many of those targeted towards children. Previous studies have established a link between advertising of unhealthy food and obesity in children. So, you know, we see ads for a lot of these companies and you don't think much about it, but there is a, a, a link between that and, and childhood obesity, and it's certainly something to keep in mind, right, Eric? 16 billion, that's just astonishing, that number. Okay, finally, uh, one of the top news stories of the year has been the big increase we've seen in carjackings across the GTA, and we're getting a better picture today of which vehicles are being targeted by thieves. Yeah, the most stolen cars in Canada over the past year. Hope you don't find yourself in this spot, but the most stolen car. The Honda CRV, it was swiped more than 1,400 times this past year, Erica. Number two on the list, the Lexus RX, uh, Ford's F-150 pickup, which I believe is the most uh, top-selling uh, vehicle in Canada, was number three on the stolen list, the Honda Civic 4, Toyota Highlander 5. Experts say if you are unlucky enough to find yourself in that spot, of course, contact the police first, but then contact your insurance company and make sure you have that stolen vehicle report number on hand. Make sure you have the cost for a rental vehicle ready for your insurance company and your replacement vehicle costs. And keep in mind, because of supply chain issues, you may have to wait longer for that new or even used car to replace it with. We, we, we're not going to find ourselves in that spot because Eric and I are horrible millennials who just Uber everywhere. Yeah, we don't have cars, Uber or walking <laughs> or transit. Yeah, those are our options.